Welcome to this Windows channel and this is another video in my series where we're going to talk about the future of Windows, the Creators Update. Um, you know, we're going to use the uh, 15,002 uh, build of Windows 10, which is uh, really getting close to probably what Windows 10 Creators Update will look like. Um, in this second video that I'm making, we're going to talk a little bit about a Microsoft Edge browser. Um, one of the things, of course, that I want to say first is that a lot of people have been very, very surprised at how many new features there are in this uh, build of Windows 10. And one of the reasons why is because we're getting close. You know, a early April is the time when this hits uh, everybody's computers. And basically, that means that there, was, there needs to be a, a, a good period of time for bug checks and bug fixes. So this means I don't expect personally to have much if anything new in the next few builds except we'll be wa walking through the bug fixes and trying to make things better um, you know I still have this weird thing where now right now for example I don't know why my uh, in my action center and my start menu works fantastically well when it had some problems a little earlier today and yesterday but now I've been using this insider machine for a couple of hours now it hasn't crashed or anything. Kind of weird. I don't know. But, you know, these are little glitches that hopefully will be fixed by uh, by April. Um, what about Microsoft Edge? We've seen in the stats that Microsoft Edge browser was, uh, you know, gained doubled market share in a year. And that's, you know, talking from one point four percent to like three percent and um, basically it's very low usage um, in 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 the browsing market share uh, every month they just integrated with Internet Explorer because it's too low now the question I have is why isn't Microsoft Edge really gaining market share I'm, I'm, I'm wondering about that because when you install Windows 10 you kind of learn that what's being pushed is basically Microsoft Edge and still nobody's using it and one of the problems I was wondering with is maybe it's because well I do see it with you know a few clients they uh, get lost and they think it's Internet Explorer because it's the same blue E and I don't know, maybe they, have, they would have gained from changing the icon to something that doesn't look like Internet Explorer. But they still they don't find their stuff and I have to explain to them, well, that's not Internet Explorer. Because yes, there are some people still using Internet Explorer. You know, apart from that, I'm looking at Edge. I, I use Edge. You know, I, I'm a big, big Edge user. It works great for me. Um, I've been using it now pretty much as my main browser. It is 80% of my day. And the only reason I go to some other browser is for some specific features and also the fact that uh, with my multiple YouTube channels, I've uh, kind of set it up so that each browser opens a different YouTube channel. So it's kind of more efficient than always signing off, signing on to different channels. But if that wouldn't be the case and I would need other browsers for specific needs, basically I would be using Edge probably 100% of the time. One of the things that is surprising for me, because we're now at an hour, a, a, a year and a half after Edge has been released with Windows 10. Now, I understand that the first year, uh, Edge was basic. You know, no extensions. A lot of people wanted extensions. Uh, there was a lot of little things. It didn't work all that well um, Some, you know, from the start. It got better with time. Uh, it got extremely good now, but still, you know, I think that first of all, the damage from the original Edge browser not having all the functionalities um, did hurt Edge. And um, also, you know, the people that wanted extensions, the fact that it took, you know, uh, a long time before they appeared also hurt Edge. Also, the fact that, you know, even now, if we go to the extensions and check the extensions that are available, 
there are you know more extensions there's 21 extensions right now and <coughs> sorry I mean this is cool 21 extensions and uh, basically a lot of them from what people want to have but if you compare this to you know Firefox or Chrome it's, it's like there's nothing there's so many more on these uh, other browsers um, you know if I look here I see the uh, little puzzle piece of uh, flash player and you see here this is a new feature now uh, that will be in creators update flash content will be automatically blocked um, from websites uh, and that's good because I mean it's time that flash is removed from the web but what is it that edge doesn't take on that doesn't start to be used by people I'm amazed at some websites that don't work with edge also a year and a half into it I mean <clears throat> one of the banking websites that I use actually always tells me oh you gotta use another browser because we don't uh, we're not compatible with edge what's even more amazing is that the comment that they put on the screen is not we're gonna fix it it's oh well we're waiting for Microsoft to fix edge so it works with us and I'm like um, okay isn't that the other way around kind of weird the layout I like the layout of edge I think it's fine the menus everything is not too bad but uh, I mean you know uh, the dark team and everything having the uh, favorites bar I love it uh, the way that it works is great I think if you share web pages and articles from the web with other people edge is a fantastic browser for that because of its a feature where you can actually write over a web page and say hey here's here's something interesting and you know you can then just go up in the upper right and share it and I mean this this is much more appealing and easy than any other browser so there's you know there's there's some things that are showing us that yeah it's uh, edge is worth using in some uh, cases now of course you know set tabs aside I'm I'm not sure I'm, I'm, I'm trying to find myself here what what could be useful what could be useful in setting aside tabs I mean that feature is now probably gonna make it to the creators update I'm, I'm still wondering I just set aside tabs and I mean I, I, I don't get it I'm not really sure of its use but then again I say that but look I, I shut down edge and I'm back and I want to use edge I'm actually looking at this and oh I've set aside these tabs and I can bring them back magically and easily that could be interesting actually I don't know but not for everyone I don't think that's something for, my, or for everyone apart from that edge is a great performer works fine it's pretty fast yet what is missing what prevents people from using edge if you are using edge if you use edge or you don't use edge why not share with me why you're not using it or why you're using it or what's missing or what you don't like because it works fine and uh, it's, it's kind of curious I know it's very difficult to uh, you know make people change from one browser to the other but um, it's kind of interesting I really wonder what's missing an edge to, to to make it a browser that could be interesting you know we know uh, everything about the battery life it seems that using edge is a good idea on a laptop so uh, of course we need to test that a little more and I'll try to make some tests and run some tests about the battery life because I want to see it for myself and I need to make these tests for sure so uh, anyways uh, this is uh, my second video of personal observations of you know what will be the creators update in early April basically if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up if you have any comments questions suggestions let us know and hopefully you enjoy your videos. Thank you for watching.